Wow, Ophiosis, welcome, welcome. This is the season of Capricorn. It begins from the 22nd of December until the 19th of January. Ophiosis, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. If this is your first time, please like and share these videos. I want to say to each and every person, um, remember that this is your abundance in money and prosperity reading. It teach you um, to make your choices by choosing one of these symbol, one or two of these symbols, depending on what is happening in your world and what you want to know. And use the link below this video in order to choose your symbol. I want to say thank you, ladies and gentlemen, um, for the wonderful likes and share. Please remember align our sense with the positive energy and we will be okay. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get in and see what is happening and transpiring. So what we're seeing and what we're understanding is that we are um, trying to uh, create um, our world of wealth and understanding where we are and what is transpiring and how um, to easily create our financial stability. So the message for you, Ophiosis, for the season of Capricorn, it's about going within and making the right choice. Going within, connecting with your higher self, your mighty I am present self. As you go within, go in meditation or just sit still and call upon your higher self and ask to take over um, in order for you to take rest and understand what is your new direction moving forward. So this is going to be in the, the week of Christmas. Um, this is going to be in the week of the 21st until um, the 27th. And I see you, um, Ophiosis is going within in the first week and trying to exhilarate and trying to find the right decision and try to create the right decision for you and trying to figure out which direction to go in. OK, if you are feeling off balance, off shake because of things that has been happening at work, let it go, go within, meditate for just an hour, 15 minutes to dry with 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. That is what um, the universe is asking you guys to do. As we look at the second week, this week is from the 28th until the 2nd of January. What we're seeing is that you have the energy of the Ace of Swords. Now, the Ace of Swords is powerful. It's a powerful alignment of energy that is creating wonderful stability in your world. And this is going to be good. Because what it is doing is exhilarating you in such a powerful way and is creating understanding of who you are and what is transpiring. Life is about surprises, but it is also about creating wonderful alignment of energies for yourself and being in the space of you exhilarating yourself in such a powerful way. So life is going to be picking up and it's going to be exhilarating. And when we exhilarate, we understand how we are going to be creating some sort of a new part and creating some sort of a um, new stability in our world. And you're using the sword of truth in order to do that. Now, the sword of truth can cut both ways. So you got to be aware of how you're using this uh, ace of swords because the ace of swords is about communication and you can have bad communication and good communication but how does it affect you so obviously this communication that you're going to be given out is going to be um sound information that people needs to have and i see that this is going to be helping you to be very successful because people are going to be realizing that uh, you are on the part uh, um trying to help uh, um, people in whatever way, because this is like a, a communication that you're giving out, information that you're giving out is really exhilarating you and exhilarating other people. It's as if the information people were waiting for this information and then they're going to be using the information in order to make some sort of a change. So if you are um, a personal officer or you are a manager, I see using the sword of truth is going to be um, where you have to be using it in the right way. So let's say you're a doctor, lawyer, or a nurse, or any profession, I professional person. Um, think of not uh, uh, making a lot of money, but think of uh, helping the person in the right way. Okay, so this is what business is all about. And as you start doing that, so let's say that you have to, you know, get more people, get more sales. You, you have a quarter to to 
uh, to do, you're going to be thinking what is good for this person. It is all about what is good for this person and not uh, how much money I can make off this person because they're not in the position um, to understand what is going on. I'm going to be taking a, a, a disadvantage of this person. So I see a lot of you people in high professional position is going to be changing the way you look at things and understanding what is happening and transpiring and in your world around you. So this is going to be absolutely powerful. So we're moving forward and we're looking at the energy of the rose. And the energy of the rose is a powerful, powerful alignment of energy. The energy of the rose is showing up what was happening and transpiring. Okay, so the energy of the rose is about you being successful. So expect um, that in the week of the the third until the ninth, you're going to be very, very successful. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, huh? Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> yeah, the third till the ninth, you're going to be very, very, very successful over um, a situation at the workplace or however. Success is going to be coming up with your materialistic stability. So, Ophiosis, expect success in um, under the energy of the rose. Um, something that you're working on is going to be. Um, touching the lives of many people and because of that I see the universe is going to picking you up and throwing you out and helping you because when we find our divine pur purpose that is when um, the universe uh, um, just start to make things go in exhilaration and it's just going faster and faster and some people said oh my god um, you know it's just something that I thought about that was my hobby and I tried it and look at this and, you know, it's blowing up proportion. Yeah, because that's what you were meant to do. So I see this is going to be happening for you, Ophiosis, and this is going to be absolutely wonderful and powerful. So under the rose, you're going to be finding out that you're going to be successful with a new business that you have started or a new business or some, a new, some new project or so. You're going to be extremely successful. Under the energy of the number five, changes is coming in and whatever it changes is coming in. I see you're standing your ground and creating these changes. It's as if you, Ophiosis, is saying, no, 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 changes needs to be made. And I am going to be making sure that this changes is being made and this changes is going to be created, whatever that was happening in transpiring. So when we look at this energy, the message is that go within in order to make the decision that you need to make. And by going in to make that decision, you are going to be receiving the right information that is going to be making you very successful and it's going to be exhilarating you in a very, very powerful way moving forward. And that is your message is for this way. Now, let's go in and see what is happening for the energy of the shoes. The energy of the shoes has to do with uh, managers, people in eye profession, people who have to make decision. Okay, so it's always manager, uh, self-employed people or entrepreneur that has to make decision. And this decision is about you going within at the week of Christmas in order to find out what direction to make and what is the wise direction for you, what is much better for you, what is the wisest thing for you to do, um, not uh, offending anyone but trying to create some sort of a stability for people moving forward and I think that this is going to be um, what is going to be transpiring and what is going to be coming up because people are going to be um, aware of what to choose from and how you make these decisions. So this is going to be wonderful. Instead of your asking or trying to figure out, you're going to be going within and call upon your higher self and your spirit guides will help you to make the right decision for this new year coming in for you guys. So then we look at the 28th until the 2nd of January. I see a lot of you are using the sword of truth um, to deal with some sort of a contract, uh, some sort of a contract. Um, if you were waiting for a contract or looking for a new contract or wanted to know whether or not your contract has been, um, um, it's going to be extended. 
you're going to be speaking up. Some of you could be dealing with some sort of an issue that has to do with a contract. And I see you are going to be victorious and successful. So whatever problem there was, maybe you got a contract and you wanted something else and you wanted a car, whatever it is, and you are going to be victorious and successful with this contract. It is a yes, go for it because it is going to be creating your materialistic stability. Take this contract, take this new offer that is coming in because it is what you have been looking for for a very long time. So be aware of this and understand where you're going and what it is that you need to do and how you need to, um, to create your world by using um, the energy of the sword in a good um, way and that will bring you some sort of a victory and overwinning that is going to be exhilarating the frequency of your money coming in. Then we look at the energy of success and the energy of success is absolutely fabulous because a lot of you self-employed entrepreneur or people that was creating um, projects is going to be um, finished and you're going to be successful. And this is going to be the week of uh, the third until the ninth. So the third until the ninth of January, um, some sort of an unexpected, uh, unexpected explain unexplainable situation is going to be transpiring and whoever that was working on a project this project is going to be taken off and it's going to be exhilarating so let's say that um you realize that you your contract was not renewed and you're going to be thinking hey i'm always good at this so let me try this and whatever you are going to be trying in the uh, um, week of the 3rd of January until the 9th of January, you're going to be realizing, I have made the right decision. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is just so powerful. Um, This is good. This is what I was meant to do. And you're going to be seeing that a small idea that some of you are going to be creating, whether uh, on the work floor or an entrepreneur or working with someone else or create just something simple is just going to be um, creating a huge influx of uh, uh, financial stability for yourself, but also for someone that is going to be saying, hey, you mentioned me and this, um, you know, I got so much um, reference. So here, and you know, I'm sending you like 10% of what I made, something like that, just unexpectedly out of the blue, someone is going to be saying, because you mentioned me, look at what happened to me. Thank you so much. So I see that um, this is going to be good because just one project that you're working on, just one small project that you're working on has created so much, so much situation that you are standing your ground and understanding um, where you are in your life at this moment and creating the right business uh, um, situation for you and is uh, exhilarating in such a high form, high powerful form in your life that you're standing your ground um, with the last energy at uh, um, the 10th of January until the 19th where you're exhilarating and you're standing your ground and you're creating much better um work discipline for people and this is going to be good so um you know wonderful alignment of energies and it's as if some of you are making some sort of a changes in the process of some sort of a situation where people are going to be making changes and you are going to be on the steam of helping people making changes and that is going to be bringing in um, financial stability in your world. So I really, really do love this for you, Ophiosis, because what is happening in transpiring is that you, Ophiosis, are taking, um, taking your, your, your lead, taking the reign of leadership because you are leaders. So all of you, Ophiosis, that was born, um, November 29 until December, uh, 17, you are leaders, leaders in your own form. And I think that um, this year of 2021 and from 2020, I see all of you Ophiosis have been awakening to yourself and understanding because a lot of people were not telling you who you are and that you have the energy to heal anything um, that you, um, you know, that bring in existence. And I think a lot of you Ophiosis are going to learn in to heal, but also manifest, and it's going to be bringing um, in your world materialistic, uh, 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 just endless flow of 
money in your life because you are taking on your own power and your own energy. So I love you, Ophiosis. This is going to be powerful. I gotta go. Namaste. Thank you.